The next item on the list is uh, P5. P5 is the hub. Uh, this is a very important piece. Everything that uh, goes up or out or down uh, really comes off the hub and uh, it's extremely important that uh, everything is very precise or things will not line up. Uh, it starts off uh, with the outer hexagon uh, in place and then the inner circles and then the outer circles. These, each one of these uh, are to hold in the linear rods that uh, the spokes that go out to the end of the table and uh, each one of them is countersunk because the top of this needs to remain flat for the star to be able to sit down flush against the top. Uh, these countersinks are done on the top part of the hub and on the bottom part of the hub because the bottom part of the hub also has to be flush. And then, of course, the slots these three slots are used to uh, house the uh, piece of aluminum that comes goes up and down that raises and lowers the center star uh, when it's uh, when it's ready to go um, as soon as you as soon as we got this all done, we just went over to the tool paths and uh, let's go to 3D view, reset. And we cut it. And that looks exactly like it's supposed to. All the holes have gone through here and here. The countersinks look like they're deep enough. And that's the hub cut on Aspire. Now let's go to the CNC and cut it. As you can see the hub is fairly thick. It's three 18 millimeter pieces of plywood and I snuck a quarter inch piece in there also to try to get it to the dimensions that were called for in the instructions. The next video you see was taken with my cell phone and I hope will be the last bad video in any of these sequences. Once we had the top portion of the hub cut out we flipped it over and aligned it and we cut the countersinks on the bottom portion of the hub. Once that was in place, it was time to start working on the uh, edge holes that held the linear rods. I built a jig that I could mount the hub to and precisely drill these holes. These holes are very important and have to be uh, an exact measurement. Uh, if they're not, the slider that runs on the linear rails will bind. 
and it will make opening and closing the table difficult. So I took a lot of time and lined them up and made sure they were precisely where they needed to be. And uh, once I got the jig in place, it was fairly easy to drill and rotate the hub into position to drill the next set of holes. Once we got the hub drilled and cleaned up, it was time to do the bearing block. Bearing block is listed as P11 in the instructions. The bearing block attaches to the bottom side of the hub. And uh, it's a fairly simple piece to do. It, uh, it consisted of three layers for me, the uh, outside square. Um, and then the outside holes that attach it to the hub itself and then the inside hole which uh, is very precise. The bearing race goes in this hole and uh, the bearing slides up into it. Once we got uh, everything drawn up we went to tool pass to, uh, Got the tool paths in place and we cut it in a spire. And it looks like it turned out okay. And then we go to the CNC and cut it.
once I got the holes cut uh, on the bearing block, I uh, wanted to make sure that the uh, race would fit uh, inside of the center hole. <clears throat> so I, uh, the vacuum was still on and I wasn't sure I could get the uh, center hole out, but I was able to wedge it out with a point. The vacuum is so strong, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. But I finally got it out and uh, vacuumed it and I started to put it in and it was too tight. I kind of played with it a little while and, uh, and uh, I just I, I decided I didn't want to force it. So uh, I left it, I say, I left it uh, to the side and went back to the CNC and uh, I just instructed the CNC to cut the hole uh, like a hundred thousandths more than it was. Uh, just to try to inch up on getting the right size and that's all it took was about a hundred thousandths uh, more and it uh, went right into place and cleaned up uh, really uh, quite nicely. It was then time to cut the, uh, the outside portion of the bearing block. Um, I did, uh, I did that uh, here. Again, I'm cutting this uh, just with the vacuum table holding down this piece, which is, I've got to tell you that that's one of the best things I ever did was uh, building that vacuum table system. It just makes life so much easier. And of course, all the gray stuff that you see around here is uh, vinyl that they use to put under uh, shower pans. It's, uh, it's, uh, won't let any air leak out or anything else like that, so I put that around the areas that uh, are losing vacuum and it holds it in place very nicely for me. So uh, I moved the, uh, the head out of the way and I tried to lift the piece up and it wouldn't come up. I had to go turn the vacuum off. The main uh, uh, hold down vacuum before I could get the piece up. So I turned it off and I took it out and uh, there it is. It turned out really quite uh, nicely. This is a picture of the bearing in place where it's supposed to be and now a picture of it on the bottom of the hub. Thanks for watching.